made it to you guys there. How are you? <laughs> Welcome to my new car. All right, you guys, so uh, this is my new car. It is a Volkswagen Tiguan. I have been, for some reason, so obsessed with a Tiguan. I don't know why. So we were looking at getting an SUV for one. Two, we wanted it to be a mid-sized SUV. Nothing too large, nothing too small either. And three, we wanted all-wheel drive, mainly because we live here in the Midwest, so the winter time in the snow is super brutal so we wanted to make sure we had all wheel drive so that way all the wheels work and we wouldn't have too much traction problems and things like that but that's that's neither here nor there so those are the three top criteria that we wanted we also wanted to make sure that we had a nice amount of space in the back for um, our dog mainly if we have three kids with us as we usually do with my two nieces and my little brother so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of the specs and things like that with my new car, then please keep on watching. So I'm really excited. Let me bring you guys to the driver's um, door. So as I mentioned, this is a Volkswagen Tiguan. It is the Wolfsburg edition, so Jack knows this, but I like all the bells and whistles. So when I look at cars, I want the top of the line car. <laughs> and it's, it's obviously more expensive, but um, this is actually a 2010. So we bought a little older of a car, but it was right within our price range and it was top of the line. So it had everything that I wanted in the car. So here is the inside. Oh, it's dirty because it was raining yesterday, but don't mind that. Um, so it has all leather seats and it is cream which was one of the things that was really scary for us it we didn't want it to be like cream because we don't want to get it dirty but we did buy seat covers for that reason because like I said it can get really dirty but it is all leather and it looks super 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 nice also in the car it has um, buttons on the steering wheel, which is really nice. It has the volume up and down. It also has, um, should probably, why is it? Okay. Anyways, it was blinking and I didn't want to hear that noise. Um, it has the up and down, which I can see like on the, on the dash, what door is open. And actually when I first bought this car, I drove all the way home with the back door open and I didn't realize that this was actually telling me that it was open. So I was just looking at it and not really paying attention to it. It does have 110,000 miles on it. So that's not the best, but it's okay. I wanted it. So Jack bought it for me. Also, if you get in the back seat, I'll show you guys the sunroof. So now that we're in the back, well, you are in the back, I'm in the front. The sunroof is amazing. I'm actually gonna have to turn the car back on for it. It is a complete panoramic sunroof, which means it goes all the way to the back. And I love having it open because it feels like an open concept. You know, when you think about your house, you think about having lots of windows, lots of light, things like that. The same for the car. So I'll open it up for you guys. So it goes midway for the um, sunroof, but the back is still open so you can still see out of it like for our kid or, you know, Oslo or whatever it may be, you can still see back there. I didn't notice this, but it actually has a, a screen up here that'll protect from like anything coming in, which is really nice. I didn't realize that, but yeah, I love the sunroof. I love it. I have always wanted a sunroof in my car and I had one way back when but the car was such shit but I'm super excited to have it again then it also has a screen that comes and covers over it it's a thin screen and it's just kind of like the color of the interior but it's it's nice but I don't like having it open because or closed because I feel like it just closes off the space
didn't notice all of the windows are um, touch so they all roll down with just one tap to the window so with my window I just have to click it up and it'll roll down so that it is just touch up and down which I really like um, also the media is touch as well so I can go from different stations and just touch on the screen which I didn't know that it was touch screen until I actually got in the car and started like driving around but it is a touch screen pad it also has a six disc CD player but who listens to CDs anymore so personally for me I just have it on media all the time and I have it on my aux and I just I plug in my phone and I usually listen to Spotify the playlist that I'm listening to right now is R&B on Spotify and I love it it has the hottest R&B tunes and I think there's about like 26 or so songs on here but this is what I usually plug into and I just have an auxiliary cord because I don't think this car has Bluetooth audio I, I don't know if it does or not I have to read the manual like actually have time to read the manual and try to figure it out but right now I'm just using an aux cord it does have a crap ton of car like compartments so it has space right here for whatever so I just put the CDs that the last customer that had this car left in here and then I have this is like an ashtray and it has a little place where you can put your your um, carport also has more space down here I don't know what this is for but my gum sits there because I'm always eating gum then you've got your trunk latch and everything down here your Prindle well, this isn't Prindle, it's Prindus for us because it's it has a sport mode. Um, and then the cup holder, I love having the cup holder down here. And our um, accent that we have, it's just, it gets a little messy because it's like closer to up top. But I like that it sits a little lower and stuff. So you can close that. I have my parking brake. This is obviously my charger and my um, aux cord little thing. And then the middle console. It's junky already, but I just have my little charging port. I have a pin, a charger, my aux cord that plugs into here, and there's also a port where you can put your um, your charger, and then I have some chapstick, because you always have to have chapstick. So now I'm gonna hop into the back. The back, I actually haven't had a chance to sit in yet, but, but, my best friends have said that it's like really spacious back here. Um, from where I sit, there's a crap ton of leg room, which in our accent, we went down to Georgia in that car with two adult males, Jack and myself, and it was so crammed. So that was another thing that we wanted this SUV for was for friendships for when we go up to Michigan to our cabin. Um, we'll have a lot more space for our friends to sit and everybody be comfortable. But they did lean the seats back. You can lean them back or sit straight up. And it, it is, it's pretty comfortable back here. It's actually pretty nice. There's a charging port here, again, for whomever wants to charge. It's also a heating vent, which wasn't open, but we'll go ahead and open that up. And then there's a place that you can put like, I guess ashes or, whatever i don't know what people will put there's pockets back here which is great i don't think jack's car has pockets in the back but we have those and then we have the cup holders which the one thing that i don't like about this is the fact that it pulls the seat rest too i wish it just pulled the cup holders down but you know you do with what you got but it, there are cup holders back here which is really great so when we have my niece and my brother if they did have drinks back here they could Jack's like shaking his head like no no <laughs> if you have the middle if the middle thing just came down and not the whole seat no one would be able to sit there anyway so why it doesn't because there would be a cup holder thing hanging down no it wouldn't be hanging down it just pulled down right here it would just be right. this part as opposed to the and headrest assume that it's hanging out nobody can sit there anyway so it doesn't really matter well no one can sit there thing. like this either right so does it really matter anyways we have a cup holder space back here, which is really great. Um, however, when we do have our kid, our kid will be stationary right here. So there won't be cup holders back here for that. But this does turn on and off. 
so that's how that is you have your little clips for your hangers if i was to hang things there's actually two clips which is really nice the latch is here as well and then yeah that's pretty much the back seat we did get seat covers and we do have weather tech floors so the weather tech mats did come with the car and we do have the original mats as well but i'm really glad we didn't notice that when we bought the car so i'm actually really glad that we have weather tech um uh, stuff because once again it rains here in illinois it snows it sleets it hails and everything so this is going to protect the carpet for longevity <laughs> So with the trunk, we can either use the fob and open it, it just unlatches it, and then you just click it. There's a clicker right here that you can pull open. It also has the handles to pull down, which I really like. Uh, and there's also lights right here that light up when the car is, when it's darker. Um, there, This came with the car as well, so it latches onto here on these two little pinwheel pinwheels so it goes up and down with the trunk but I think Jack wants to leave it down for right now um, this we just got seat covers as I mentioned because we have a dog and you guys know Oslo and we wanted to make sure that our seats were protected and we weren't getting our seats messed up for kids in Oslo and then I got flat cloth uh, seat covers for the front mainly because the front seats are heated so we didn't want to get something that was waterproof that the heat wouldn't be able to absorb through so i like my heated seats jack likes them until it <laughs> it's too hot for his back and his butt but i really like them so we made sure that we got those but i haven't put them on yet because i'm still going around showing everybody my car so i gotta make sure they see it in all its greatness and fullness before i put the seat covers on it um but this is the back it is really spacious it's really big I like that this gives us the option to have, be able to put things on top and also be able to put things down here. So for like groceries and stuff, we could put like bread and things like that up here and put other things down there. The only downfall with this car is that it is um, premium gas. So premium gas is like 60 cents more expensive or something. I don't really mind, but my husband is a cheap ass. So he was like, Six eight cents more expensive, I guess, girl. But I was like, it's okay, it's okay. So he's been hounding me about making sure that I put the right gas in whenever I fill up the tank. It is four liters, which is really good. I don't really know what that means, but I know that it means that it's a four cylinder, so it's smaller of a cylinder, so it uses less, it doesn't use less gas. I don't wanna say that. I put less gas in than say another SUV that's a that's a six cylinder or an eight cylinder so we still get our four cylinder fuel tank as we would in our accent not as good as of gas mileage but we still get you know the four cylinder so yeah i'm loving it you guys i'm so excited i've been wanting to film this video for the past two days and i'm super 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 glad that i actually got to film it so once again this is my tiguan i haven't decided on a name i actually want you guys to vote on the name I'm going to <clears throat> list a couple that I've found. Okay, so I'm thinking about White Phantom, Snow Leopard, Frost, Marshmallow, Casper, or Polar Bear. You I'm guys, voting Casper. You, you like Casper? It's one of the only names. White that. Phantom? That's it's kind of cool. A name, Frost? Frost is Frost, name. Frosty the Snowman? I said one of the only. You don't like Polar Bear? Anyways, you guys let me know what your favorite name is down below and then we'll take a vote. And I'll probably add a poll on my YouTube home screen so you'll probably see it when you log into your YouTube. I want to know what your favorite name is so that way we can name this beauty. We need to give her a name. Okay, so 
so I think that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already gone ahead and subscribed, then please go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's free. You get more videos like this. Also, I really appreciate you guys so much for giving us this opportunity to purchase another car because of you guys, you guys subscribe, you guys watch the videos, you watch the ads, whatever it may be that gives us the opportunity to purchase our vehicle, our house, everything. So we really greatly appreciate you guys. So. I think I'm gonna head out. I've gotta go over to Nana's house to see Adrian. If you haven't seen those videos of Adrian, make sure you guys check out the channel. All right, I think that's it. I don't know where y'all are going, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. Bye guys. Up, oh, safety first, of course. Gotta make sure I put my seatbelt on and turn on my tunes. Like I mentioned, R&B on Spotify always. Let's get it cracking. Bump that new Summer Walker. Bye. Is this good lighting? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave that in just because you're disgusting. All right, we'll leave the part <laughs> in about your husband being the cheap ass that bought you a house and a car and, and the dog. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wanted the dog, or you wanted yes. the dog? Yes. Okay. Let's go look at dogs. Because you wanted the dog with the, but he does help me. Oslo. Oh, I see him sitting by the side door. Let me know when you're ready. Go ahead. Do I look okay? Yes, Should I spit my gum out? I've had it in yes. the whole time. Why didn't you tell me that a while ago? I didn't even think about it. Of course. Yeah, I think Uncle Charlie's having something at his house. So. And walk around the front. Okay, so not the back? Why not the back? One, because the front looks better. It's the main focus of the car and we'll get the back when you're driving off. Okay. You don't and, think we this... don't, and we don't have to get old boys in there either. Who's a boy? A buddy that's about to get out of the car. I thought that was a girl. I don't know who the fuck it is. I can't see that goddamn far. Babe, you need to get some glasses. The windows are dark anyway. What's the time on that? <laughs> My car door is locked. <laughs> Why it's locked, I have no idea. But, all right.